Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Saturday. Yes, I actually said Saturday. I'm at the last of my water. I just finished a stellar workout. I did one of my favorites. Kathy Cordio Car Circuit. I did this for about 35, maybe 38 minutes. And that's where we're at. 365 calories. Ooh, you know what I have to do. Sorry. Mr. Flow. Whew. <sighs> did the upper body yesterday. <sighs> Sorry, hold on. Oh, and I can see that I need to go tanning. Ugh. I haven't been tanning in several, several, several days. We'll fix that today, won't we? I also don't like how these straps stick out. You guys, I just... One of these days I won't be so... OCD about things and worry about things that nobody else gives a crap about. But anyway, uh, let me take this little picture. Today's vlog might be short. Of course, every time I say that, then it ends up, hold on, focus. My hands are shaking. Um, every time I say I'm going to do a short vlog, I, it ends up being 25 minutes. So, anyway. And uh, right below you, just so that you know, I'm getting ready to make my zucchini protein bread. By the way, I might as well just show you. So here's my bowl, big ass bowl. There's a half a cup of oats in there. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this recipe. It's so simple, but you're like, how much zucchini? So I shred a bunch of zucchini. I use my food processor. Woo wee. See that, people? Um, I just take a handful, literally a handful, so like that's how much I'll put in there. I have no idea what that is. That's probably more than a cup. That's what I do. No measurements. Um, so then today, after after I shower and have my breakfast, whew, um, I will shred some more. Um, just make sure you're going to use it, because I, I went through a phase where I was making this. You guys know about me. I tend to make a lot of the same thing over and over again. But then if you shred a lot of this and leave it, ooh, there's juice in there. There's something actually, you know what, come to think, of, no, that's not what it was. It was my turkey meatloaf. I made turkey meatloaf last night, and it just was really watery. And I'm like, why is it so watery? I didn't know what I did. It was pissing me off. Um, anyway, so back to this recipe. If you didn't watch one of my last uh, videos, I got the recipe from Gina Aliotti's video. It's um, zucchini protein bread, so one serving in this huge ass thing, or excuse me, one whole loaf is uh, a serving. <clears throat> Golly, I'm losing my voice. Half a cup of oats, put in a bowl. Add your shredded zucchini, put in a bowl. She said you could do carrots if you wanted. Um, you could make like a carrot protein bread. I put one and a half scoops of my protein powder, vanilla. So right now I'm using, <clears throat> God, I'm losing my voice today, GNC Amp Vanilla, which has um, each scoop has 20, 20 grams of protein, so I use a scoop and a half. <clears throat> scoop and a half of vanilla protein powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, the orange box, um, cinnamon, you can use Trader Joe's pumpkin pie spice, you know, whatever it is that you want to use. Um, some people like to put Splenda on there if you're against it. Use real sugar, a little sprinkling. You don't need a lot. Um, <clears throat> you've got your zucchini, you've got your oats. You've got your scoop or scoop and a half of vanilla protein powder. I suppose you could try it with chocolate. I've never done that. Or cinnamon. I've, I've made that with like the lean dessert um, cinnamon protein powder. They've got like a cinnamon vanilla or something. Um, and then four egg whites. Mix it all up. It's going to look funny and you're going to go, this isn't a batter. Spray your pan. Put it in here. Top it off with more cinnamon. Put it in the oven. 375 for 50 minutes. It's a beautiful thing. Um, I think it tastes great. I can't eat the whole thing because um, it's very, very filling, and I love it. So I am going to keep this vlog short because it's Saturday. I have to head over. I'm going to help my mom put all of her uh, Christmas decorations away. Um, for those of you that have been asking, um, she has her fourth chemo um, next Wednesday, so she's come halfway. Um, you know, I think her, her biggest thing is... You know, she's somebody that likes to be out and about, kind of like me. So for her to be just feeling really tired, really lethargic, kind of like PMS, right? But to the a zillionth degree. And, and knowing that, you know, you really just don't have the energy to do anything, 
for day after day after day after day. And let me tell you, the only thing that can come close to me remembering what that's like is when I was in college and I had mono. And I was sick for over a month and I could barely move because I couldn't I couldn't even keep ice chips down. I remember I would beg my mom for ice chips, but anything would make me throw up. And so I couldn't even have ice chips and I would sit in my parents' basement and like that like I was staying with them, my mom was like nursing me. And um, so I was staying with my parents and um, I would lay on the couch and I would watch MTV and I would sit there and be like, oh, and I would make a list of everything that I wanted to eat when I was done because I couldn't eat anything. So I remember I was like, Burger King, Whopper, pizza, and I would just fantasize about food all day. And then even when I was better to go back to work, I remember, of course, I lost a ton of weight. I looked sickly. My liver was all messed up. My, I was, you know, jaundiced. And I remember I went back to work. I was waiting tables. And I could barely walk across the parking lot without being like, <sighs> and my mom says that that's how she gets, where she's like, the only way that I can run to the store is if I have, you know, a grocery cart that I can lean on. And I'm like, oh, mom, call me. I'll go for you. So it's great that I live close so I can help her through it. She only has two, wait, did I say that right? So she has one on Wednesday and then two more. She has six total and then she has the lumpectomy um, and they're doing well. Um, their spirits are, are good. So I'm going over there today to help her put stuff away in the house. Um, and then I'm having, I'm having lunch with a friend first, but I got my cardio done and I will tell you guys, um, I should be finally caught up on my my vlogs and getting my vlogs on my blog in a timely manner and, and, and doing things and I have gotten, I've made so much progress this week in, in so many things. I have my new computer here, I have my new phone, I have my new phone headset for my phone, I have my new headset wireless for the office so that I can, you know, be wireless and, and talk with all my meetings and not just sit there like this on an old school phone. Um, I have the hugest hugest, literally like my new bulletin board that I ordered. I knew it was big because I wanted a bulletin board for my vision board. Kind of like motivational. If you've never done a vision board, look it up. You should have one. Um, but it's kind of nice as much time as I spend in that office to have my huge vision board there to kind of like when I'm tired and I don't want to take another call, I can just look at that and go, this is why I'm doing this. Um, also, of course, it's going to have my vision boards for what I want to do in my personal life and so on and so forth. <laughs> I ordered the bulletin board and I measured the one that I had. The one that I had is like, you know, this wide, right? I don't even know if you can see that. It's like this wide. And um, so I'm like, based on what I saw on Walmart.com, which has great prices on office supplies, I should say, um, I, I'm like, oh, well, this would be kind of just like double this. It'll be, okay, let me tell you something. It took a special delivery guy to bring my bulletin board. It takes up almost the whole wall. I'll do a vlog and I'll bring it in there and show you. It's, I think it's as big as my car, almost. Like, I couldn't believe how big the box was. I didn't know if the um, recycle people would take it when they came yesterday. But it's very cool. So, um, very excited. I do have to take my Christmas decorations down. I, I have to, I can't lie to you guys. I usually don't like to take my Christmas decorations down. So I will usually wait until, like, sometimes, I'm not even lying. Sometimes I leave my Christmas decorations up. Oh, it's a cardinal. Um, up until like Valentine's Day because I use red so it kind of goes with the theme. There's nothing more annoying. Well, it's not nothing. It's really annoying taking Christmas decorations down because you just, ugh, you put so much effort into changing your whole house and you move things and it looks so good and then taking it down, it just messes up. I should do it the day before my cleaners come. That's what I should do because I always hate how it messes up the house. Anyway, I really have to go because I'm going to make this, um, and I need to make my coffee. I'm talking to you guys before I even have my coffee. So there you know. I did my cardio, haven't had coffee, haven't had anything, and I'm still just as peppy and happy as I always am, okay? And I'm even getting my flexes in. And I will tell you this. So back, two things. Number one, one of the uh, number one questions, not number one really, but I do get it a lot. So I'm going to say it in this video that I get is, why do you only show your face <laughs> or, you know, from your chest up? Um, I don't have a videographer in my house. <laughs> so if I were to show my shoes, you'd 
I use a tripod. This that you're talking to here is a tripod. There's not a person over there shooting me like this. Otherwise, I could. Not that I would go, hey, here's my butt. Hey, look at that. Here's my legs. I'm not gonna, I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. We're just talking, so that's why I do this. But furthermore, I don't have anyone else in my house to move the camera. And if I moved the camera and gave you a tour of my body, I'd probably have to charge you for it. So, sorry. Um, but Michael and I will start taking pictures at the gym and um, maybe some video in the future. So, there's that. So that's the question for that. Number two, I am kicking so much ass this week. It's, it's scary. And I just have to say, I am so excited and more so I am, um, I'm just doing things I've never done before. It, I mean, it's been a three years since I've been, um, this consistent, this compliant, if you will. It's good that I have some people around me. Um, this, you know, just really to, to the T, doing what I'm told, adjusting, and I, and I like it. I, I have to tell you guys, like there were a couple times this week that it was late at night and I was sitting, you know, getting ready for bed. I'm sitting there reading and I'm like, oh, I have that PB2 in my um, cabinet and I'm hungry and my stomach was churning and I'm like, I could just go get a song and nobody has to know, I could just have some. And then I was like, why do you want to do that? Like, those are the little things that if you do that, you've just deleted everything you've done that day. No, I'm not saying, you know, one taste of PB2 or some almonds here or there, but I gotta tell you guys, like, you have to understand, that's what I am, you have to understand how all that stuff adds up. And if you, if you don't do 100% that day, you didn't do 100% that day. So if your goal is to say, you know what, I have not been 100% for two years. I want to go 90 days and I want to follow my plan. Okay, we're celebrating a birthday here at my house. Not my birthday, my sister's birthday. Um, on Monday. And I will tell you, like, I'm not having, I'm not, ha and it's some of my favorite stuff. But I am on target and I'd rather stick with it and go really hardcore for six to eight weeks um, and have the potential of reaching my goal. Um, than to enjoy, you know, think about that. What's more important? You know, is it going to be annoying to not have birthday cake and Giordano's pizza? Yes. Am I going to get to have Giordano's pizza again in my life? Hell yes. the Birthday cake again? Hell yes. What, what do I want more? Is it, is it really that important to have that at that moment or to have my freaking chicken or tilapia or whatever and, and then move on and reach my goals? For me, I'm not telling you guys what to do. For me, I am on point, it feels great, I can see and feel changes in my body every day. Like I can't wait to be weighing myself every week, I can't wait to be measuring myself, I just feel it. I'm getting stronger, um, I just can't even describe it. So, you know, I'd be, I'm able to make better choices. That night when I wanted um, the PB2 or whatever, I just thought about it and I didn't even have to think about it that long because I was like, eh, I'm not going to have it. Um, anyway. I hope you guys are having a good start to the year. I have to go. Time flies when you're shooting a vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great Saturday and make sure you get your workout in. Oh, my upper body hurts. Um, tough workout yesterday. I was screaming. Um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.